Oh, after three long years of orange barrels and lane restrictions, relief tonight for drivers on the west side. The road project at one of the city's busiest thoroughfares is finally complete. WLWT News 5's John London is live for us tonight with a look at the Price Hill Widening Project. John. Yeah, we're on the southern edge of Lower Price Hill, and the Vald Vogel Viaduct next to me here is such a vital link between the west side and the core of the city. And for years it has been too narrow, too confusing, and too jammed. But like the symbolic ribbon today, they cut all that away this afternoon. The barricades had balloons on them today, indicating celebration, not construction. Frida Soma shouted hallelujah. She's had it up to her eardrums with the $55 million project. Now that it has transformed from bottleneck to beautiful, she's trying to put it all behind her. I had a lot of panic attacks. My house would shake and uh, things would walk off my shelves. Her husband, Ted, chronicled the construction. Here are a few of the 2,500 pictures he took. It took a decade's worth of planning, four construction seasons, and truckloads of Westside Will to get to this point. But the Waldvogel Viaduct has been turned over to travelers again. A descendant of Edwin Waldvogel was three when his grandfather, mayor at the time, christened the original. It was sad to see it deteriorating, deteriorating. You worry about things crumbling. It looks wonderful. It is wider, smoother, and safer, according to those who designed and built it. The 50,000 drivers who depend on it daily considered the old road rusted and rickety. Mayor John Cranley among them. Delighted now with its sleek modern styling and sense of space. Instead of rumbling past Lower Price Hill, the new viaduct provides a connection to that struggling neighborhood. State Senator Bill Seitz emphasizes projects like this don't just happen. With the Brent Spence Bridge, MLK Interchange, and the Western Hills Viaduct on the must repair list, he thinks higher gas taxes are worth consideration. We have to make sure that the funding stream is there to continue the work of rebuilding our aging infrastructure. Frida feels the flow of traffic will improve, and her house won't shake, rattle, or roll anymore. It's been fun to watch, and I am kind of glad that it's over. <laughs> And as you look live at it, there are several new bridge ramps connections. There is new lighting here. And an unspecified gateway project is being worked on now by the city to try to further enhance this area where we are live. Lower Price Hill, John London. WWT News Spot. All right, John, thank you. City and ODOT leaders say they're grateful to Lower Price Hill neighbors and commuters for their patience the past couple of construction years.